Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the shop today. Got a little special treat for you. What we're going to do is uh, troubleshoot a electric motorized chair that you see at the grocery store. You could just cut it all up and just really make some serious damage. Or we could show you how to diagnose it. Okay, let's go outside and we'll take a look here. This thing has been stripped down. It is like ugly go-kart. Okay, so one of the first thing you want to do is try to check your supply. So this has got a little unique cover because the way it pops off, it's got these little connectors here. What's this little breaker switch here? And that just pops here on the other side. Get your negative, positive. So what you do, you say, well, what's my source voltage here? And we got 10 because it's not fully 12 right now. I charged it up a little bit with this uh, cheap old charger that came with it. And uh, so anyway... Uh, what you do now is uh, you find these at the grocery stores or any places where they have a uh, go-kart. Okay, so once you get that bugger snapped on, kind of one way or another. There we go. You heard it. You heard it beep there for a second. Uh, it's being a little... Bugger. Come on. Snap. That's a snap on there. There. Sorry about that. Okay, so. And the next thing is you want to do well, maybe this motor is bad. And so what I got here is an extra battery. And you stick your positive on. Try this there again, and your negative, and I got about 11 volts, 12 volts, trickle there. Okay, so we already know that, well, I, you don't know it, but when I was using the lever, it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, do anything. So then I got thinking... For uh, diagnosing purposes on this, I uh, put my lead here, and I wasn't getting uh, a positive and negative here. And then when it reverses it, it flips it around, makes the motor run. These might be uh, signal wires or to in the ground, you know, to activate this. So then the next thing you can do is say, let's let's find out if the motor is any good. Okay, so sorry about that. So then get your clippers on here. You say, okay, give me give me just straight power. We'll just trickle it. Stick that in there. And, and you go, see? So you know it works. And then you reverse it in this case. And it goes the other way so you know that this is good and you can put this back on there clicky clickety click so let's say okay motor's good battery force is good but then let's go here and let's say okay back on dc voltage reading let's find out if we're getting power to the switch that, and the way this works is on that little rod right here, which is right here, move up and down. You would control this up and down and tell your little goat cart to go forward or backwards. So this is basically a little 
potentiometer and you got your over and back and then your source to come in and transfer it over but with this being such a little wire i'm thinking to send more of a small voltage through the wire back down here and back to here so here's your little baby wires so i'm coming back into this computer and this is a uh, relay here so here is the battery source coming into this system and this is how we're going to prove it. It's red for positive nipples. Always positive nipple. And the naked. And what do we got? We got 12, 10 volts. That's the battery. But then, when I activated the switch, to send these two power lines back. And this again, I note white and blue, right? Well, then that means white blue right here okay then so it wraps around this and comes back into here so when I activate these here and here if I was to do that and move this lever which would move this it wouldn't do anything so it seems like either this computer relays bad the horn works see that works but there really isn't much going on in here. These two were disconnected. There's only one way to connect them back, and I wasn't still getting anything. So it seems like if motor's good and you uh, hook in these wires here with the multimeter, which I did. I went from here and there and I activated it and got like one and then three volts and then that was it and then I went from, from here to there and I would play with it and get one and then went to three volts and then that was it. I wasn't getting 10 volts and I wasn't getting 12 volts. So I'm thinking this goes all the way back into this computer for a relay to kick it in. So if the, if the coil is bad or the computer is bad or the relay is not kicking in, it ain't going to send the voltage to this and go to the motor. So at this point, I'm pretty done with it. Just wanted to take a little time. And after that, you can also disconnect the battery and check your resistance from the wires and make sure there's no broken wires as well. Because this thing is moving around and up and back and forth down the uh, aisles. And there might be a broken wire. But I didn't get voltage here though. I wasn't getting anything from transfer from here to here. But I got voltage here. But nothing here. And then this is just that switch. That you see. And that's the horn. And this is, I don't know if that's for a light or I'm not sure. Okay, so I pretty much summed this up. Um, hope you found this a little bit beneficial to diagnose a little go-kart, electric go-kart. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, keep your dick in the vice, and we'll see you then next time.